everyone welcome to the next um <clears throat> excuse me the next video from rooms of wonder by johanna bassford we have our very last row of um lost items to do starting with this rather interesting looking um i would say evening bag that's that's how i'm gonna think of it anyway now having a little look at the design we have a handle here with circles i'm thinking beads maybe and then we have a piece across here and I'm thinking maybe that might be a, a sort of metallic strip. Um, it could be an elastic, I suppose. Anyways, let's um, work with the circles on the top first. And I'm sort of just trying to think colours really. I think I'm going to go for greens. We haven't done greens for a while. It's unlike me not to do greens, to be honest. I'm always doing greens. But uh, I'm going to use 38. It's a rather... Um, I think it makes quite a good gem colour, um, so I'm going to start with that one. It's very sunny outside and I've got my blind shut. I've tried my light on a different setting because I did have someone say my pictures were getting a little bit grey and I think that's probably due to the lack of potential natural light because I have to shut my blind because the sun is all over the desk um, but I'm not sure whether it would be better um, I can't do it with no lamp I had considered um, but because then the camera doesn't adjust to the light so much but if I do it with no lamp I can't see so if I turn my lamp off here's off it looks quite dark I think and here it is on but my camera you see adjusts and darkens automatically and then the other mode of my lamp is a bit warmer so I think this mode is the best but if you tell me what you like no lamp um, the mode I like or the other mode this is the mode I like um, it will help me to uh, make sure that I sort of do it the best I can. Um, natural light is probably better, as I said, but I can't, I can't do that at the minute. And it might be easier for me once my children have finished their exams, so I can just disappear into here, um, close the door, record when there's lots of natural light and no sun on this desk. But at the moment, it's not possible for me to do that. I'm going to grab some different greens. I think we'll move to number five. Oops, I'll hold it out of shot. There we go. And I'm going to do just... Mm, we've got a quilted bit. We'll do this top bit here. I'm just going to do it with a layer all over to start with. And then think about whether there might be some shadow or what to do with this sort of crisscrossy pattern. You could do the crisscrossy pattern in different colours. But it, my immediate reaction, as you heard, as I go out the lines, um, was a sort of quilted effect where there's stitching to gather in a sort of foaming, foamy part sort of fabric and uh, so I don't think it would be lots of different colours I think it would be all one colour but with um, um, parts of it a little darker and more shadowy I'm just going to get as even a layer down as I can as possible. It's really difficult. I've done the best I can. It's not even by any stretch. Yeah. I've had a go. Now I'm sharpening my pencil so that I can get into these lines here. I'm just going to start by going over them with the with a fairly um, large amount of layers to start with. I haven't changed colour by the way, this is the same colour that I used for the background, um, you know, the, the number five. I can't believe we're nearly at the end of this double page. 50 videos this has been. It's a lot, isn't it? You must be thoroughly bored of, uh, of the same old videos. <laughs> right, now what I'm going to do is take each section one by one and just make it a little darker nearer those lines because I want to make it look like the material has been gathered in by the stitching and that would therefore make it darker around those bits I'm hoping 
I can make it look like that. But I might be making the um, these bits a bit thick. But we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. And you can see and decide if you want to do it like this or if you just want to do a patchwork pattern. You know, um, it's, it's up to you. It's your bag. <laughs> Maybe it's not your bag. <laughs> oh dear. I was reading Paul Jokes this morning. I sent one to my sister. I can't remember them now. Not very good at remembering jokes. Yeah. <laughs> I had son home this morning. He um, he was one of my boys. They both um, didn't have classes this morning, but one of them decided he would um, um, go in and study at college. He think he prefers to go in and see his friends. Really, um, <clears throat> I think I'm going to do the bottom of half of the bag in this colour as well. I want it to sort of match up, and I quite like this sort of. Um, dual colour, I suppose. Um, gemstone colour, how nice and vibrant it is. Yeah, so one went in and the other one stayed at home, but he's gone off now to get the lunchtime bus. So, but he's going to get a bus back later, so I need to be quick and get some videos done. So I had a very quick spot of lunch, a bit early. He left at quarter to twelve, so it's quite an early lunch, but I thought I'll have a quick spot of lunch first and then I can settle and just get the rest of this page done, which is really exciting to get this page finished. And I've already um, got my next morning series plan, <laughs> which is really unlike me, but uh, that's fine. I've got, oh, oh dear. <laughs> Oopsie, let's, uh, let's rub that away if we can. Yeah, so I've got my uh, my next series planned, and uh, so that's exciting. I'm looking forward to that. Now I'm also these two here. I'm going to do them silvery. Let's let's get some silvery colours. Let's just move those greens aside. Um, I rather like using the eight for silvers. This is the grey. Um, I'm going to make these two like their silver beads. So what you want to do is dark on the outside, fade towards the middle, leave a gap. There we go. It's really straightforward. Same here. There we go. And for this piece here, darker here and lighter here, leaving, you must always leave a white gap. The white gap provides the shine. And the bigger contrast you have between the white gap and your darkest colour, the more shiny it looks. So little tips for you. Um, using just one colour isn't as effective, but it's easier, which is why I did it. Okay, now <clears throat> we have this little flat piece and then this piece. I'm trying to decide, do I change green? Don't want to move into our olives, definitely not. Um, I think maybe 52 will work for some of it. Can't use it for all of it. So 52 is our sap green. And I'm thinking I'm going to use it for this big piece here. I'm going to just put it down as evenly as I can, quite vibrantly as well. And uh, we'll see how it looks. There we go. But this piece, I think I'm actually going to do in our number 38. So that's our sea green. I don't think I told you the name of it before. So I just put down an even amount like that. And then I'm going to just try and make it a little bit darker under there. And maybe under this bar. I'm assuming that this is just tucked in behind this piece, but then that bit looks like it could be the flap. So I'm not really sure. But there's our green bag. I rather like our bag. Um, but we need to do the um, the little label, of course. And you know I like to use the same colours that we've used in the main picture. I'm going to actually start with number eight for the tape. I know it's a bit weird, but I don't have the right tape colour. And really lightly, 
just like that. That's it, just a touch. And then for the label itself, I think I'm going to have to go for the 38 because there isn't any 38 around here, whereas our other two greens have been used. And again, I'm going to go really lightly as if it's quite a pale piece of paper. Um, and it won't necessarily then look like one of the greens we've used already because it'll be pale, but it would tone in. Um, I just want to grab my 52 again because this is a bit messy. I'm just going to tidy up a little bit. There we go. And under here, see I did a bit of shadow here. I need to do it under here as well. So I'm just going to put that in, go around the label. There we go. Hmm, there is the bag. I think it looks quilted. I think just about, if you squint a bit, uh, use your imagination. I do want these beads to look a bit shinier. They look quite... Um, um, flat, shall we say. I'm just trying to find the right pen as I root through my pencil case. This is a very small nibbed jelly roll, so I just want the small nib so I can make the small mark, but it doesn't want to write. The problem with the small nib is it gets blocked and it makes such a small mark that I can't see it. But I can now. It's just making little dots and I think it just makes all the difference, it makes it look a little bit shiny. It's just the teeny tiniest of effort and I think it lifts it. You may not even be able to see it. Now you might want to go over the stitching on the bag in a lighter colour. Sometimes stitching is in white thread but I'm actually not. I think it might just bring attention to it in the wrong way so I'm going to leave it black. I also find sometimes it's quite difficult to cover up black so it might end up looking grey and that isn't really what I'm looking for. So I'm just going to leave it there and I'm quite looking forward to moving on to the next one because it's a present. Woo! <laughs> but uh, I'm happy with that bag. The, oh, no I'm not. The only thing is, I'm looking at the bottom here and it looks quite flat. Like it's, you know, I think the bag might be a little more rounded. I'm using fifth, um, number five, sorry which we used here already and I'm going to just make it a little bit dark on this end and this end just to make it look a little fatter if that makes sense so it looks a bit more like it's rounded rather than flat that little tiny bit I think has made quite a difference I can't, I don't want to do that on the top bit because it's going to spoil our sort of quilting effect, so I'm just going to do it on the bottom. I'm going to leave it there before I spoil it. But thank you for watching. Hope you have a fab day and happy colouring.